have been potty training for, this is week three, I threw in the towel. Even if he gives us a house, I'm still gonna have to potty today. <laughs> That's not gonna go away. The rest of this day, Lord willing, is going to be much better than the beginning of this day has been. Hey friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan. If you're new here and I'm a stay-at-home mama of three boys who are five and under, we are a very beginner homeschooling family. I create content about homeschooling, faith, and homemaking. So if any of that interests you, then I hope that you'll stick around. We recently moved from Texas to Virginia. We are almost to two months of being here and it has been amazing. This right here is just a little trip that we took over to a farm that was so much fun and just the most beautiful place I think I've ever seen in my life, honestly. One thing I love about being outside amongst many things is that just getting the kids outside, it makes homeschooling and learning just come to life when they get to interact with the mountains and the trees and bugs and animals just so much more than they would if they were sitting in a classroom reading out of a book or watching something on a screen and don't get me wrong we definitely use books and screens to teach our kids but there is just something really special about getting your kids outside Good morning. Today has been really crazy. We have been potty training for, this is week three, and today was, I threw in the towel. My three-year-old pooped on the ground, peed on the ground as well. This is not the first time that this has happened. It's been happening a lot lately. I just um, got really frustrated with it today and just decided maybe let's just pause so i put him in a pull up we're going we're getting out i don't know if we're gonna go to the library or go to a park but i want to get out and just breathe <laughs> we just got back from a little outing at the park let the kids play did a little bit of lunch in the car because it was a really nice day. I'm about to start homeschooling in here. Right here, I'm just showing you this little habit tracker that I created because my printer wasn't working. So I'm hoping to get a better looking one soon, but it has really just helped me to keep track of doing circle time and math and language arts at least four times a week. It brings me so much joy to check off things. So this has really, really helped me out. Before every language arts lesson, my son needs to read a book. Usually, by the way, he's not reading this book. Actually, this Peter Rabbit book, he has it memorized. So don't worry, <laughs> my five-year-old is not reading these kinds of sentences. <laughs> but we use The Good and the Beautiful and the good and, Be the good and the Beautiful comes with little books that are easy for kindergartners and then they progressively get harder. I am sure that if you have already done a little, even a tiny bit of research about homeschooling, you've heard about The Good and the Beautiful. We are big fans of it. We love how easy it is to use it, and he loves how interactive and pretty everything is. But if the car starts to distract you, then I don't want you to play with it. I'll just put it right here. Hold up your thumbs, like the hands, you know this one. Which one do you think is the B and the Z? Watching this back, I am just like, you know what? Not every day of homeschool is rainbows and butterflies. This was definitely a hard day. I did not want to do homeschool after dealing with the potty training issues that happened all day long. So yeah, my monotone voice definitely shows the <laughs> how tired I really am. Okay, I want you to try. Okay, you have to give it a try. 
All right. I want to cut Just one. Just follow the little lines. Okay. I don't want to cut all of them. I'm not going to do any more. Currently, I am trying to make my lunch so that I can eat finally because they ate at the park. And now my three-year-old is banging on the door because I think he may have pooped on the ground. We will find out. That's what he's been doing lately. So, yeah. Josiah? Luckily, this lesson had a really good page that he could work on while I was cleaning up the poop. I have been kind of trying to get him to do more independent work because it does help me out in situations like this where I really just can't give him that one-on-one -on -one time in that moment. And so it's really important that he's still able to work by himself, even if I'm not there, and then I can just go back and check his work. It was not intentional that I filmed all of our mess, but I think it is important that you see that it's not perfect. <laughs> Um, it's definitely been a mess with the potty training and homeschooling starting back up again. It has been very difficult to keep up with the other things. I think I'm also still trying to figure out my time management a little bit better. I am doing better than I was, but it is definitely a working progress. Sometimes I find it hard to create content like this because I just feel like so many other content creators make positive content or like joyful homemaking and I try to make it joyful but I think that really my joy is just found in the Lord so even if my video doesn't seem joyful in the things that are happening I do have joy and I think that's really just what it comes down to is that even if the things that we're doing as a homemaker stay-at-home mom homeschooling mom whatever it is it may not be a joyful day of like things that are happening to us like this situation but we can still find our joy in the Lord and honestly this exact same thing happened to me today and it happened to me the day before <laughs> and it has been happening pretty much every day but I will say that today I had a really nice time with the Lord after I cleaned up another accident on the ground <laughs> and it truly was the highlight of my day spending time with the lord even though i was completely in tears i really enjoyed being with him and letting him comfort me in that moment you got a smile that makes the sun rise you make it shine but i can see that you After cleaning up the mess, I was finally able to eat my food after I made it and then sit down and work with my son on homeschooling. I can't remember if I've said this before, but we have decided to do our homeschool time during naps because it's the only for sure-ish time that we get. Nothing's for sure, right? But it has definitely taken off some stress on my mornings because the mornings were really difficult when I was trying to work with him one-on-one. -on -one with the other two awake, it was just impossible. I researched all over for tips and tricks to do homeschool with little ones and it just didn't work for us. So I ended up just deciding, you know what? During naps it is. I wanted to read this scripture from Deuteronomy to you. It's from Deuteronomy 6 and it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. These words that I'm giving you today are to be in your heart. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them be a symbol on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your city gates. I think it's really easy to think about our circumstances and be so heavily focused on what's right in front of us because it is quite in fact right in front of us and they are difficult circumstances. But I think when we zoom out a little bit and we're able to see the big purpose of what we're doing as homemakers, as homeschooling moms, 
we love the Lord. That's why we're doing this. We are doing this day in and day out because we love him. And so, yeah, we may have lost our cool a little bit, sometimes a lot of it, but we love him and he's pleased with us. He is pleased that we are still doing <laughs> the hard things, sowing the seed, watering the seed, pulling the weeds. We are still doing this. We are in it and he sees it. Finally sitting down. It's super nice to sit. I'm just praying that I don't have any like bills that need to be paid, phone calls that need to be made, appointments, things like that. Okay, so a little bit of a life update. I have a dentist appointment in just a little bit. So my husband's gonna come home early and he's gonna do the math lesson with my son. I have not shared this on here because I have been super self-conscious about this, but I actually don't have one of my teeth, like front, front teeth. This one is fake. It's actually like a retainer. That's why I like very rarely film me eating anything. Also, because I don't like to watch myself eat. That's a little cringy. I'm going to a dentist appointment to get an impression done so that I can finally, Lord willing, get a tooth put in. I actually have been dealing with this since last October, so it's been almost a full year that I have been missing a tooth in the front. I am very excited and very hopeful that God is going to finally get this taken care of. And then the other thing that is really exciting is that we are actually going to go house hunting again. We've gone house hunting when we moved here the first few weeks we were going like every weekend to us, but it's very low inventory here. We haven't gone to a house to look at in probably a month. Um, unfortunately, I can't show anything that we're looking at. Even if this isn't the house that we end up getting, I'm still super just, I'm just really thankful that there was a house that popped up that we liked because it's been so long. I think when I first got here, I was really discontent and really just praying through that and wrestling with the Lord with that. He's kind of helped me to get to this place of like, it's okay that you want to be in a home and just finding contentment in him though, in the process, like both wanting a home, but finding so much joy and contentment in him. It honestly reminds me of Paul in Philippians 4 when he talks about how he has been able to find contentment in all circumstances. I think that when Paul says he's been able to be content in all circumstances, I think he's saying because he is so connected with the Lord, he finds all of his hope and his joy and all of his strength and all of those things in God in the circumstance. So like his circumstance sucked, like he was in prison when he was writing that, but like his hope was in the Lord. So long as we are connected with the Lord, he can give us that hope to keep moving forward, even when it's really, really hard. Cause this is still really hard. Even if he gives us a house, I'm still gonna have to potty train. <laughs> That's not gonna go away. Still gonna have to be a mom and take care of my kids. Still gonna have to have self-control, try my best not to get mad. Yeah, all those things are not going to just poof go away when we get at home. Making sure that I am remaining in the Lord is just super important. All of that to say that was a little bit long-winded, but the rest of this day, Lord willing, is going to be much better than the beginning of this day has been because uh, I don't know if I said this before, but I have been dealing with um, poop and pee on the ground. Not just today, but like for the past several weeks. Um, I also will say this is kind of like in addition to everything else. Since we moved here from Texas, I have met an incredible group of friends. Like it feels like the Lord handpicks these people because they are so similar to me. And my older sister, I wish she could meet them because they're super similar to her too. But anyways, ADD moment. I have met the best friends here. Just feel like you belong somewhere, that there is a space that you have a seat at the table um, was really sweet. So I'm looking forward to getting to know them a lot better. For anyone who has been praying for friendships for me, thank you for your prayers. I met all of them through this one sweet friend, Sarah, who she just like an angel, like I literally met her and was kind of in tears because I was just like, 
I've been struggling for so long. Like, thank you for being my friend. And she invited me to a small group. And I remember there was one day that I had met, I had a really hard morning and I had messaged her. This was like right after I met her, by the way. <laughs> like I met her on Sunday, had a hard morning on Monday and I messaged her immediately because she was the only friend that I like, but like actually cared. I messaged her and I was just like, I'm really having a hard morning. Do you think that you could pray for me? And she was super nice back. She was like, oh girl, like I have already been praying for you this morning while I was doing laundry, but yes, I will definitely be praying for you. Super genuine person. If you know anyone who is new in town, be a Sarah, like seriously, be a Sarah to them. Lots of things going on. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. The like button will help me out with the algorithm and click that subscribe button. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one.